Hi, hello guys. Bernie G is here, your art tutor. This is my painting 25. On this tutorial, guys, I'm going to demonstrate on how to create the uh, warmer clouds, the trees, the grounds, the grasses, and also the highlights. Then I'm going to demonstrate also the far mountains, the near mountains, and also the highlights of the mountains. Then I'm going to uh, demonstrate also the color combinations. But before we're gonna start this demonstration of my painting 25, please hit subscribe button below this video for more video tutorial and updates in the near future guys. And also, you can find the list of colors to this tutorial that I use you can scroll down below to the description of this video you can find the list of colors there and also guys you can leave comments and hit like button below this video and now guys let's get started for my painting 25 demonstration guys I have here lamp black color the titanium white blue color dioxazine purple fluorescent loamy pink lemon yellow orange yellow and also the uh, nipples yellow now first i'm going to create the sky of this painting uh warmer sky first i'm gonna do is i'm going to paint the boundary just mix the color of titanium white and the uh, blue color just this area this area is for my sky and this area is for my land or the soil first i'm going to paint the titanium white here just paint directly the titanium white to this area then the uh, lemon yellow above above this uh, titanium white and also blend this color to the background color the canvas then blend to the titanium white just like what I did here add more titanium white to this area this is for my sun area that's why I'm gonna put more titanium white to this area so that it will more brighter effect for my for my sun area here just like that then add more uh, lemon yellow that is going up to this to my canvas looking good then I'm going to paint the uh, blue color above this uh, canvas at the very top this is for my uh, blue sky color I paint directly the blue color. Just add a little bit of uh, small amount of water so that it will uh, a smooth when you scrub this. Just like that. Then next, I'm gonna blend this blue color going down. I'm going to blend the blue color to the lemon yellow to create a very nice smooth sky or the blended sky. And then I add the lemon yellow, I just directly paint the lemon yellow and also blend this color. And then I add the blue color, but I'm going to blend this color so that it will create a nice sky and also the very smooth effects of the sky. Just like that, looking good for this sky. And then next, I'm going to add the uh, orange yellow. Just directly paint the orange yellow for to my sky. This is for my clouds or my scattering clouds. This is only for the base color of my warmer clouds. This clouds also is affected by lights coming from the sun. 
I'm going to mix the purple or the dog sassin purple and the blue color. And also I'm going to add a small amount of lemon yellow. Just mix this three color. This is for my shades and my clouds. And then I'm going to paint this color above my warm color clouds. These are the shades of these clouds that are not affected by the lights coming from the sun. That's why I, I darken this area for the shades of my clouds on this upper portion of my uh, scattering clouds or the warm clouds. You can also use the semicircular uh, brush strokes to these clouds or to these shades and also you can also blend this color to the color background so that it will create a good looking shades of the clouds looking good just also blend this color to the uh, orange yellow or for the highlights of my scattering clouds or the warm color of my clouds Then I'm going to paint directly the duxes in purple for the shades of these clouds for another additional color. Just add more duxes in purple with I'm using the same brush strokes like semicircle or semicircular using my number 12 flat brush. Looking good, just continue blending with this color to the shades of my clouds. Uh, the purple or the doxas in purple. Just continue blending to create a nice effect of my shades of these clouds there. And then the lemon yellow, I'm going to add the lemon yellow. Just paint below these warm clouds or the below this orange yellow. These are the lighter clouds or the nearer clouds to my sun. That's why I'm going to use the uh, lemon yellow. And also with the same brush strokes, you can also mix the uh, brush stroke. The original way and also the same circular brush stroke and also you should blend this color to the another color that I painted earlier to the sky looking good for my sky very nice color I'm going to add more uh, lemon yellow below the uh, warmer clouds or the orange yellow and then I'm going to blend this color to the orange yellow to create another color effects on my clouds these are the uh, highlights of my clouds and then I'm going to add the uh, fluorescent loamy pink above a little bit the warmer clouds and the uh, lemon yellow these are also the highlights on my clouds I use the fluorescent loamy pink because this clouds is far a little bit to my sky. That's why uh, it looks a warm color. Then I mean, the brushstroke should be the same, like uh, creating the same circle, and also just blend this color to the color that I painted earlier for my skies, so that it will create a nice a smooth color effect or the smooth combination color
and then I'm going to add the nipple shallow for more highlight color or the another color effect for my highlights of these clouds that are affected by the uh, sunlight. Just add more nipple shallow to my clouds for the highlights and with the same brush strokes, semicircular, then just blend also this color. And then I add again the uh, lemon yellow for the highlight color of my clouds. Just uh, observe my brush strokes. Looking good for my clouds and uh, also the highlights of my clouds. And now I'm going to add a nipple yellow for the highlight color of my clouds. Continue adding with the uh, nipple yellow and also continue blending this color for the highlights. Just paint this color below the shades of my clouds and also just blend this color. And then I'm going to mix the purple or the doxacin purple to the uh, blue color. And just paint the uh, under the are not affected by the uh, lights coming from the sun. Add more detail for my shades on my clouds. Just add this uh, darker color. Just mix the two color, the blue color and also the purple color to create this kind of color and also just observe my brush strokes. Just continue adding this dark color for the shades of my clouds and continue blending this color to the color that I painted earlier or the background color of my sky. To add these shades of these clouds or the, the shade color from left to right but it should be the upper or the upper portion of the warmer clouds or the highlighted clouds And then I'm going to continue adding the highlights of my clouds using this uh, nipple yellow. And I'm going to add the uh, fluorescent loamy pink for more warmer highlight color for my clouds. Just use the uh, loamy pink or the fluorescent loamy pink and also I blend this color again for the another color effects of my clouds. I'm going to blend this color to the uh, color that I painted earlier. I'm just continue adding the floors of loomy pink for the warmer highlight of my clouds. Going to the left and to the right. The brushstrokes, just observe my brushstrokes also and how to blend this color. Looking good for my sky, just continue adding with this fluorescent loomy pink and just continue blending this color for my clouds effects. Very nice. For more dark color on my shades, I'm going to mix the color of the doxas in purple and the lamp black color for a additional or the more dark color for the shades of my clouds or gonna add more detail for my shades of these clouds here. I'm going to paint this uh, dark color, the upper portion of my warmer highlights. I'm going to add more detail for this area here. Continue adding with the dark color for the more detail of my shade and just blend this color. Very nice effects now. I have a very nice clouds now. Just continue. 
and then I'm going to add small amount of lamp black color to the color that I mixed earlier, the uh, blue color and the uh, purple or the doxas in purple to create more dark color effects or another color uh, effects for my shades of my clouds. I'm going to add more detail of this sea of this clouds by adding the dark color when we say shades of these clouds uh, these are the uh, clouds that are not affected by the uh, lights that are coming from the sun or the sun lights that's why I paint the uh, dark color and then I'm going to mix the color of titanium white and also the loomy pink or the fluorescent loamy pink to create the lighter paint but I but I'm going to use my smaller brushes or the small brush like this one here the number four flat brush this color is for my highlight color for my clouds these are the another color effects for the highlights of my clouds the lighter pink Looking good, very nice. In the titanium white to this area for more highlights color of the clouds. And now guys I'm going to mix the color of nipple shell and the titanium white. This color is the lighter color. This is for my uh, highlight of my clouds. And just add small amount of fluorescent loomy pink. And also I'm going to apply this color above a little bit to my sun area. And then I'm going to directly paint the titanium white above a little bit to my sun area. This area is very near to the sun. That's why I'm going to paint directly the titanium white for more light color effects. The nearer is the brighter color that I used to this area here. Continue blending this color. Just over observe my brush strokes here just i'm using number four flat brush and then i'm going to paint directly the titanium white to my sun area uh, add more bright color to this area because this uh area is for my sun that's why i paint directly the titanium white for more uh, detail of my sun area and then I'm going to add the nipples yellow also using the smaller flat brush, the brush strokes, just observe my brush strokes and also how I put the paint on this area. These are the clouds that are near to the sun, so I am going to use the nipples yellow. And then I'm going to add the uh, lemon yellow. Co this color is for my highlights of the clouds that are near to the sun. First, below this uh, warmer clouds. Just continue adding with this lemon yellow. And then also I'm going to add the uh, fluorescent loamy pink for more uh, warmer color of my clouds. Just also I observe my brush stroke and and also the I also blend this color just continue adding with the loamy pink near to the sun area just continue adding again for the uh, fluorescent loamy pink a little just add small amount to the upper portion of my sun These are the warmer clouds also or the highlights of my warmer clouds 
and then I'm going to add the lemon yellow below to the color I paint earlier, the loamy thing. This uh, color is for the highlight color of these clouds. And then the orange yellow also, I'm going to add for more warmer color my clouds. Looking good for my sky. And now I'm going to continue adding the warm color for my warmer clouds. I use the orange yellow, just paint directly the orange yellow for the warmer clouds. And then add the nipple shallow for the highlight of my clouds here. I'm gonna mix the color of fluorescent, loomy pink, and also the uh, orange yellow. Just add more fluorescent, loomy pink, and just add a titanium white. Just mix these three colors to create the lighter color like this. And I'm gonna paint this one here. For the highlights of the clouds, just uh, the brush stroke should be like uh, creating a semicircle, just like what I did here. These are the highlights of the clouds that are uh, affected by uh, sunlight. Just continue adding this a uh, color. Just you should. Uh, should not push hardly the tip of the brush so that it will uh, not uh, blot so much or you can create a smoother brush line with the paint looking good for my uh, clouds Looking good for this a uh, clouds here. I'm gonna mix the color of a uh, titanium white and add just add small amount of lump block. And then and then just add a blue hue color. Just small amount of blue hue color. Then add a uh, purple or doxacin purple, just a small amount of doxacin purple, just like that. For the base color of my mountains here, oops, gonna add more uh, doxacin purple and add the lamp black color for the darker color, or the grayish blue. Or the gray color. This is for the base color of my mountain here. Just paint here at the very center of this canvas. For my mountain. I'm going to put this, um, I'm going to add this color. I'm going to make this mountain bigger. Just again, just mix the lamp black and the purple color and add a blue hue color. Just like that. And just 
paint here for the shade area of this mountain, the darker color. I'm using number 8 uh, flat brush for this, but when you use the brush, it depends on how big your uh, painting is. If mine, I'm using uh, 12 inches by 18 inches canvas. Um, if you're using a more than this, you can use also the bigger brushes. Now you have my mountains there, the base color only. Just mix again the lump black and the uh, titanium white. Add the uh, blue color. Just paint here at the very back of this mountain because our sun is here and this one is did not affected by the uh, sunlight. So that's why it's dark, more darker here area. On this area, more dark. Just continue at the very bottom of this mountain. I'm gonna paint this one here. Just add small amount of water so that it will uh, uh, nice when you apply the color. It's very nice and smooth. You can get for this mountain. Next, I'm going to mix the color of a blue color and the titanium white. Just mix these two color. Just add this below this mountain here, the very bottom, and the brush should be uh, making like. Semicircle, semicircular. The brush should be like this, semicircular, creating the uh, like a semicircular. I'm going to use the bigger brushes, number 12 by a flat brush for this. I'm going to add directly the, uh, I'm going to add directly the titanium white and also just blend this color with the same brush strokes like making semicircle. These are the uh, fog effect of this below this mountain. That's why I'm going to add a light color this this mountain here. Going up, okay. That's only the base color, also. Let's, I'm gonna finish that one later. If I'm going to finish the put a, the highlight of this mountain here, the Rushina and also the uh, fluorescent loomy pink, just mix these two color. then add a small amount of orange yellow. And then the uh, lump black color also, just a small amount. Then the titanium white for the lighter color, just like that. Then I'm gonna paint this one here for the highlight. These are the first highlight color of this mountain here, base color only.
I'm gonna mix the color of uh, orange yellow and the titanium white let's mix these two color also just add a small amount of uh, lemon yellow just like that just add here I'm gonna mix the color of titanium white in the uh, loomy pink titanium white and the loomy pink just more just add more titanium white to lighter this color and just add here for more highlight color effects Looking good, and also here, just add the paint directly the the orange yellow here. And also the uh, lemon yellow and the titanium white. Just mix these two color, the lemon yellow and the titanium white. Just add here the very top of this mountain for more highlight color. Just like that. Then the uh, I'm gonna mix the uh, orange yellow and the lamp black. Just add very very small of lamp black to the orange yellow. And just add here at the very back of this mountain or the shade color next gonna add the blue color gonna mix the blue color and also the uh, orange yellow just mix these two color I'm gonna paint this at the very very back of this mountain these are the where I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add more. Uh, I'm gonna add small amount also the titanium white to lighter this shade. These are the shade of this. Uh, these are the highlights that are reflected coming from the clouds. I'm gonna put also the highlights of this buck of this mountain. Looking good. Going there, the lighter uh, or the sky blue, or the uh, little bit uh, darker sky blue for more highlight color here. The back of this mountain here. I'm gonna add more I like just looking it this mountain there gonna blend this color also now oh, I have a very nice mountain there and I'm using I'm using also a number five flat brush I'm going to mix the lemon yellow and also the uh, blue color to create the green color just add more uh, lemon yellow to create the yellow green color just like that and just add here for the 
grasses of this mountain with the grass color effects. This mountain here. Then I'm gonna add the more uh, uh, blue hoo. Just add here for the green color of this area. And I'm gonna add more uh, lemon yellow or just add small amount of titanium white to lighter this uh, yellow green color and just add here for the lighter uh, grasses just add more uh, green color looking good for my mountain then I'm going to create the darker green just mix this uh, blue color and the uh, Rushina color the blue and the Rushina create this green color just add this at the back of this mountain also and add the greenish color here Then I'm gonna mix the, also the uh, Rushina and also the add small amount of lump block. Rushina and small amount of lump block. Just add a. I'm gonna add the blue hue also. Rushina, lump block, and the blue hue. Just paint this area here. Just freaking it. Now at the very bottom of this, I'm going to go back to the uh, fog effects of this mountain. I'm using also the uh, bigger flat brush like this one here. This is the one fourth or the one half old. Flat brush, one half size, just paint it directly the uh, titanium white to minimize the line. This one here, I'm going to minimize this one using the uh, titanium white, just paint directly the titanium white to minimize this line here. Makes the color of titanium white and the uh, blue hue color. Just add a very, very small blue hue. Just like that. Then I'm gonna add this one here. Semi -cir circular brush strokes. Just looking good. These are the fog effects of this mountain here. I'm going to add also the lighter sky blue. Just add a very very small uh, blue color to the titanium white to create the lighter sky blue. I'm gonna add this one here. I'm gonna use another flat brush, the number 12 flat brush. Just like this, it should blend this color also.
Add more lighter sky blue, just add small amount of blue color to the titanium white and just paint here and also just blend this color for to create the nice nice very nice a smooth color Then also, I'm gonna apply the titanium white. Just selecting the area for more uh, exposure or the more uh, lighter fog. This area here, exposure by lights. Like I uh, creating the clouds also. To minimize these lines here, just blend this color like uh, the brush strokes, like this in brush strokes, creating like creating the uh, you mean this one a circle or the semi circle, just like that. Now, uh, yellow green here. Okay. Looking good for that area and more titanium white at the very bottom of this mountain. Looking good. Add more titanium white going down. Now let's continue for this painting here. I'm going to add a uh, another mountain, small mountains there. I'm gonna mix the color of the purple and the uh, lab block. It's just a uh, more purple color. Just add small amount of a titanium white. Just there, then add a small amount of a blue color, just like that. I'm gonna add a uh, small mountains here. This is for the base color, these mountains. It's only the base color this mountain here uh, very small mountains more darker to this area because it's far from the sun so I'm going to add more black than the purple color just add then just add a blue color I uh, like that then this is the base color of this small a uh, mountain here just looking good the rocky mountain just like that nice here for the base color, these mountains there. Then next is I'm going to uh, uh, create another uh, cliff here, creating the cliff to this area here. Then this one is small. Uh, rock just I'm gonna mix the uh, lamp black and also the uh, purple color or the doxacin purple and just add small amount of rushina just like that looking good and then I'm gonna paint this one here is this is all also the base color just like that I'm gonna paint this one here. 
for the base color I'm gonna use the dark color this is the combination of different uh, types of strokes to create these shades here so this one here Looking good. Then I'm going to add a, an island this area here. Then I'm gonna mix the color of the blue, uh, the tile blue, and also the lamp black color. Tile blue in the lamp black color. Just paint this area here. Just like that at the very bottom of this rocky mountain then next I'm going to uh, paint the uh, titanium white to this area here titanium white just blend this color Titanium white to this area also. Brushstroke should be uh, like a circular brushstroke. It should be like a making circular. You should blend also this color. These are for the mountains here. The Rocky Mountain. Just add more. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm. I. I wash my brush so that when I paint the uh, titanium white here, not too much a uh, darker. Just add more titanium white. Paint directly the titanium white here, just like that. Just blend this color, the titanium white. Then I'm gonna use the small brush. Small brush. I'm gonna mix the color of the orange, yellow, and the uh, purple. The orange, yellow, and the purple color, or the doxas in purple. I'm gonna paint that that this area where the highlights. I like to do the rocky uh, stone or the, ro the rocky mountain here and also this one here just like that then I'm gonna paint directly the uh, the orange yellow here paint directly the orange yellow Just paint directly the orange yellow here. Then the uh, Rushina color, just paint also, just add here. Or just uh, mix the color of orange yellow and the Rushina. Just like that. 
then just paint here and also just blend this color then the nipples yellow here gonna add the nipples yellow also nipples yellow here for the highlights of this rocky mountain then the titanium white gonna mix the titanium white in the nipples yellow titanium white and the nipples yellow for more uh, highlight color at the very top of this uh, Rocky Mountain here. Then I'm going to paint also the poker green at this side. Just selecting the area to paint this poker green here for the color of the grass on this Rocky Mountain here. Then the Rushina and the uh, orange yellow. I'm gonna paint this area here for the uh, outline. A uh, small amount of shades to this area. Mm, just a small amount. We can get. And also this one here. I'm gonna add the nipples yellow. I'm gonna paint directly the nipples yellow here. Just looking it. Then the emerald green at the very, very. This one here, the emerald green. Let's blend this color also. Uh, the emerald green for the. Grasses to this mountain. I'm gonna mix the color of mural green and also the hawker green to create the, uh, the lighter green. But it's but a uh, Just selecting the area where I want to paint this color like that, and also this one here. I'm gonna paint this the green color that I mixed earlier, and also just blend this color. You can get just like that. Then the ho the hawker oh uh, no no the blue color just paint directly the blue color here I'm gonna mix the tallow blue and also the purple color. Just mix these two colors, the tallow blue and the purple. I'm gonna add I'm gonna add this one here for the the trees at the back of this uh rocky mountain. These are the trees that are not uh, Then I'm gonna mix the color of hawker green in the purple color 
ochre green and the purple color just add to this area here so are the trees that are not affected by the uh, lights coming from the sun Just add more titanium white to this area here, just and also just blend this color to the uh, just like that. Now you have here a very nice fogs effect to this mountain there, talo blue and the hawker green, and add a purple color. Just add here to this area here. the base color and also the uh, lemon yellow just add to this area this also the lemon yellow add more uh, lemon yellow here the base color of the grasses here just like that I'm going to mix the color of the I'm going to mix the purple and also the orange yellow and just add small small amount of blue color just add more blue color and titanium white just add here these are the area of my soils that's why I'm going to paint this one is the darker because it's very near okay, this one is the dark color so just blend this color the base color of my soil here I get I add the water I add water to the brush so that it will uh, uh smooth I'm gonna blend this color also just like this just like that Remember guys, this is my soil area and uh, this is also my base color of my soil. Then I am going to add a blue color. Just add small amount of water so that it will, when you scrub, it will uh, create a nicer smooth blue color here. Directly paint the blue color. Next is I'm going to Add the titanium white here. Add the titanium white and also just blend this titanium white with blue color. Just like that. These are the color of my very very far uh, ground. It's blue color because there is a fog. On this area, so it's blue. Now add also this one is the blue color at the very bottom of this ground, just like that. Just add more blue color here. Looking good, just like that. I'm gonna mix the color of the hawker green and also the titanium white to create the lighter green color. Just add here, just select the area to paint this color. These are the highlights of the grasses. 
for the far grasses. Then next is I'm going to paint the uh, small trees just using this blue or the tallow blue just mix the tallow blue and the blue color to create this kind of color here I'm gonna paint this area here for the trees the far trees I'm using number at flat brush but depending on your canvas on what size if your canvas is bigger than this then you can use the bigger brushes also then I'm gonna mix the color of the uh, purple color and the uh, tallow blue to create the uh, another color of the trees or the darker trees okay just like that looking good just like that there then I'm gonna mix the color of tallow blue and also the purple color just paint here uh, a little bit a bigger to this these trees a little bit bigger to this area here because this this is near to, than this so it's just observe my brush strokes also let's continue adding this trees here uh, the smaller trees Next, I'm going to create the near tree. Just paint directly the ochre uh, green to this area here for the near trees. Ochre green. Just paint directly the ochre green. Using this number. Uh, eight flat brush just continue adding with this ochre green here I'm gonna mix the color of ochre green and also the uh, purple color just mix these two color to create the dark green color like this one and just paint here for the shades of the leaves of these trees or just add small amount of lamp black color to create the dark green color for the shades just like that this one also I'm going to create the uh, another color of the trees just paint directly the uh, lemon yellow for the color of the trees the lemon yellow here I paint directly the lemon yellow then I'm gonna mix the lemon yellow and also the orange yellow the lemon yellow and the orange yellow also I'm gonna mix these two color just paint this area here
for another color of the trees. Permanent red and the Rushina color. Just mix these two color for the for the shades of these trees. This is only for the base color. Later I'm gonna put the highlight. Later I'm gonna put the highlight of these trees. Then I'm gonna mix the color of the purple color and the titanium white. Purple and the titanium white. For another color of the trees also. Another color of the trees to this area. Just liking it. Then for the shade of the tree, I'm gonna paint directly the purple color. So the shades. Only for the then I'm gonna paint also directly the uh, the permanent red to this area also permanent red just like that I'm gonna add a uh, also the maple yellow for the uh, highlight of these trees this red color tree or the uh, autumn tree just like that then I'm gonna add also the lemon yellow for more highlight or just mix the color of lemon yellow and also the titanium white to add this one here Looking good. I'm gonna also, I'm gonna add more red color for the shades of these leaves. Add a permanent red. Also, I'm going to uh, add the emerald green also here. Emerald green. I'm going to add a uh, shade, just paint directly the uh, ochre green for the shades of these trees. Also, I'm going to mix the color of Hooker green and the lamp black color to create the dark green color. I paint this one here. Just paint dark color, the dark green color. Then I'm going to add the emerald green, emerald green for the additional color of this tree. Then the ink pulse yellow here for the highlight of this tree. I paint directly the titanium white for more highlight color of this tree. For this side also I'm going to 
mix the color purple and also the titanium white purple and the titanium white and just add the nipples yellow add more titanium white for the highlights of this tree I mix the color of ochre green and also the rushina color and paint this one here for the ground color for the grasses this area and also the emerald green I'm gonna paint this one here Just paint directly the emerald green to this area. Now I'm going to mix the color of lump black and also the uh, orange yellow lump black and the orange yellow just add here I'm gonna mix the color of uh, titanium white in the lump black color to create the gray color gray for this trunk here uh, this tree then the uh, orange yellow and also the titanium white adding with the lamp black color the small amount of lamp black color Back of this tree or the trunk, and the branches also. You yeah, gonna add the branches of this tree, and the twigs. Okay, I'm gonna mix the color lump black and also the color that I mixed earlier to so this area here for the trunk of this tree and the branches uh, using the pointed brush just like that then the titanium white the bl lamp block to create the gray color or just more titanium white for the color of the trunk bay trunk here Also this one here, I'm gonna add the trunk and the branches. For the shades of these trees, I'm going to add the uh, dark color. I mix this color the green. Green color, uh, just white and black to create the green color. Just add more titanium white. Paint this one area here. I'm 
Yan, uh, directly the titanium white. I'm gonna mix the color of titanium white and also the uh, lamp black color. The small amount of lamp black color. Titanium white and the lamp black color. Just add a permanent red. Just add here for the uh, the trunk color here. Just add more uh, lamp black color to to create a more darker color. Just paint that here for the trunk, just like that. Then I create the uh, highlight of this trunk And I'm gonna add also the Roshina color. Just add to the uh, gray color that I mixed earlier, the uh, titanium white and the lamp black. And add a small amount also the uh, brilliant red. Then now I'm gonna add that color in Roshina. Then the titanium white. Just add here for another color effects of this trunk. Just add small amount of water. This one here. Just like that. So this one here. Now I'm gonna continue the uh, this side here. Adding the trunk and also the branches, also the lamp black color here. Yeah, add more lamp black and the Roshina color for this this one here. Can see that one, so I'm going to add more titanium white. Titanium white and also the uh, Rushina color. Just mix these two color. This one here. The trunk and the branches. Then the lamp black color. Just add here the lamp black color. For the trunk, also the branches, this tree. Just gonna paint the hawker green also. Directly paint the hawker green. This tree here. The emerald green, I'm gonna add this one here for the highlights. Let's try the emerald green. Just like that, the emerald green for the highlight color of this tree. Going down. This one also here for the highlight of this tree. It should be this side. This tree because this side is egg uh, affected by a uh, 
light is coming from the sun that's why I'm gonna put a or I'm gonna paint directly the uh, emerald green for the highlights of this tree just like that we have a very nice tree there And add also here for more uh, emerald green for the highlights. I'm gonna add a detail of this area here. Just I'm gonna mix the color of Rushina and also the Naples yellow. Rushina and the Naples yellow here for the color of my cliff. These are the cliff. This side is my cliff so I'm gonna add detail for this clip here just like that looking good this area here just I'm gonna mix the nipples yellow and the titanium white Nipples yellow and the titanium white for a small highlight of this clip. Then I'm gonna add also the orange yellow just to blend this area here. Uh, the very every side of this highlight. And also just blend this color also. The hawker green also here. I'm gonna mix the color of hawker green and also the uh, orange yellow, hawker green and the orange yellow. Just add here every so that it will minimize more uh, warm color or the highlights of this. Uh, area. I'm gonna mix the color of ochre green and also the orange yellow. The nipples yellow here at the very side of this cliff. Then also the titanium white. Jenna makes this titanium white and the nipples yellow here. Titanium white and the nipples yellow. Just add here for the highlights coming from the sun. Just paint directly the uh, lamp black color. But be sure to uh, blend this lamp black color. This one is to minimize the lighter color or the lighter highlights of this clip. So I'm gonna paint directly the lamp black color here. I'm gonna mix the lemon yellow and the emerald green. Lemon yellow and the emerald green here. I'm gonna mix these two colors. Just add to this side here. I'm gonna add the detail for this. Uh, for this uh, small uh, rocky mountain here. I'm gonna add, uh, I'm gonna paint directly the uh, emerald green also here. I'm 
I'm gonna paint directly the emerald green here for the grass color of this small uh, mountain. Then I'm going to mix the color of a blue color and also the emerald green. I'm gonna mix these two color just like that. Okay, and just paint this area here. Also, this one where the grass is here. Then the emerald green, I'm gonna paint directly the emerald green in this area for the grass color. Then the lemon yellow, I'm gonna add this one here. Or just mix the lemon yellow and also the titanium white. Mix this here. I just paint this area here. Then the fluorescent green also. Can I apply the fluorescent green. Can I paint the fluorescent green to this area. Then the emerald green and also the blue color. Just mix again these two color, and just add here for more color of the grass here. Emerald green also. I'm gonna add this one here. Looking good for this grasses in this. Area. Then also the uh, hooker green. I'm gonna add also this one here. Hooker green. Paint directly the hooker green. Looking good. I'm gonna paint also this this side, the emerald green for the uh, grasses and this uh, cliff. Just like that. Then the uh, lemon yellow. Just add this area here, the lemon yellow. I'm gonna mix the color of the blue here and also the uh, uh, the uh, emerald green, the blue and the emerald green. Just add small amount of uh, lemon yellow. Just like that, just add here for more color of the grass in this area. Also just blend this color here. Gonna blend this color to the rock. Just looking good. Then the blue hue and also the gonna add more blue hue color. And just paint this area just like that 
I'm gonna add also the titanium white to the blue color. I mixed earlier the color of emerald green and the blue. -hoo. Just add a titanium white. One more uh, color of the grasses here. Just like that. Looking good. I'm gonna add also the lemon yellow here. I'm gonna mix the lemon yellow and the titanium white. Lemon yellow and the titanium white. Just mix these two color and just add this area. Just add more titanium white. Just like that. Looking good. Just add more the grass. The grass is here. I'm gonna add directly the titanium white. Add directly the titanium white here. To the grass color or the highlights of this grass area. I'm gonna mix the Rushina and also the uh, Nipples yellow. Rushina and the Nipples yellow here. Gonna add this one here. Oops, I'm gonna add a small amount of lamp black to darken to darken this color. Just add this area here. I'm gonna to minimize the green color of this area. I add the Rushina color also here. With the soil color. Then, I'm gonna mix the Rushina and also the titanium white. To add this one here. The soil color. And also the Nepal's yellow. You know, I will add also here. The color of the soil. And the, and this ground. You can get just adding more light color, just titanium white and more light color to the side for the soil. Light color again, the titanium white. Mix with the dark, uh, the Rushina. Or the color that I mixed earlier for this area. Just add small amount of titanium white to create the lighter effects. Then the the nipples yellow. Just add the nipples yellow. Just selecting the area. Nice. The color of the soil there. Then the fluorescent green. Just add to this area. The fluorescent green. I'm gonna add the fluorescent green, just selecting the area where I want to paint this fluorescent green. Fluorescent green again. Just like that. Then the Rushina color. The fluorescent loamy pink for the flowers. 
to this area fluorescent loomy pink just add a, a lighter just titanium white to add more lighter colors for the flowers in this area here like that looking good then also the titanium white and also the uh, blue color you can just add to this area the color of the grass I'm gonna mix the color of uh, Rushina and also the blue color just mix these two color Rushina and the blue -hoo. just add more blue color just paint this area here the uh, grasses to this area the purple color or the doxas in purple just mix to the titanium white just like that or just add more purple color just paint to this area for the shade of this tree and also the uh, emerald green also here paint the emerald green for the highlights of this tree there you can get emerald green to the, emerald green to this side here Looking good, nice. I'm gonna mix the color of lump lock and also the emerald green. Lump lock and the emerald green. Just add here. Oops, I'm gonna add the Yerushina. Then the emerald green. Hawker green also here. Yeah, the hawker green to this area here. Just uh, the hawker green to this area. Poker green. We're almost done with this painting. Then the fluorescent green also here. We just add more poker green. Just like that. Let's add more titanium white also for the highlights. Okay, looking good. 
And now we're done with this painting 25 demonstration guys. And guys if you think that this demonstration is helpful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos to come in the near future and also updates. I hope you like this demonstration guys my painting 25. You can leave comments, suggestions and also like hit like button below this video and guys thanks for watching to my painting 25 tutorial peace